and I've been asked to read the recommendations that have emanated from this process. And I ask for your indulgence if I make any mistakes, as I haven't had a chance to look at it very carefully yet. Here are the number of things that have been resolved. And number one, to undertake robust awareness creation and advocacy within our member parliaments and speakers' forums on the implementation of the Continental Education Strategy for Africa 2016 to 2050, and the education-related targets of the AU Agenda 2063, as well as the Sustainable Development Goal number four. Participate in evaluation of the Continental Education Strategy for Africa 2016 to 2025 in the development of the successor strategy post 2025. Three, advocate for the allocation of adequate national budget compromising, comprising not less than 1% of GDP to finance education, science, technology, and innovation. Four, contribute to the development and implementation of continental policy frameworks on teacher development, learning assessment, and higher education in partnership with the ECTI, Department of the AU Commission, and other stakeholders. Five, support policies for the strong intra-Africa cooperation and networking between parliamentarians, policy makers, scientists, journalists, and the private sector in advancing education, science, technology, and innovation in Africa. Six, support legislative action for dynamic and sustainable research enterprise capable of translating scientific discoveries into products, services, and processes that are required for socioeconomic development. Seven, advocate for transformation of the entire education system on the continent while paying special attention to marginalized groups, including girls, children in rural areas, those living with disabilities, and those in the on the move, including those in fragile countries and contexts. And number eight, regularly request and consider the reports or updates from the AUC, AUDA, NEPAD, regional economic communities, and other partners on the implementation of the Continental Education Strategy for Africa 2016 to 2025, and the education-related targets of the AU Agenda 2063, as well as Sustainable Development Goal number four. Now, therefore, here are the recommendations, or the recommend. One, to the African Union Commission, Department of Education, Science and Technology and Innovation. Two, I, partner with the Pan-African Parliament, especially the Committee on Education, Tourism, Culture and Human Resources, the member states and other stakeholders to create awareness and advocate for sustained, imp uh, for sustained implementation of the Continental Education Strategy 2016 to 2025, and the education-related targets for Africa 2016 to 2025, I'm sorry, and the related targets for the AU Agenda 2063, as well as Sustainable Development Goal number four. Two, launch and operationalize the African Education Science and Technology Innovation Fund as a blended financing mechanism for education in Africa. Three, in collaboration with the member states, development, develop continental policy frameworks on teacher development, learning assessment, and higher education. Four, organize forums for peer-to-peer -peer learning on teacher development, including the implementation of continental teacher award. And five, develop toolkits for improved STEM education and teacher standard, teaching standards 
and collaborate with the member states to ensure their implementation at all levels. To the African Union member states, to do the following. One, own the vision of and take measures to implement the continental education strategy of the said years and the education-related targets of the AU Agenda 2063, as well as sustainable development number four. Two, place equity at the heart of education policy to ensure that all children and youth on the continent have access to quality education. Three, allocate adequate budgets compromising not less than 1% of the GDP towards teacher recruitment, training, development of schools, infrastructure, acquisition of learning resources, and four, enact policy and legislative framework to facilitate competency-based education and training. Number three, to the national and the regional parliaments of the AU member states to do the following. One, advocate for education as a tool for attaining all components of development. Two, allocate adequate national budgets compromising, comprising no less than 1% of the GDP to financing education, science, technology, and innovation. Three, identify coordination mechanisms with a city department for regular exchange on a city programs and advocacy activities. Four, share experiences with other continents and countries on how parliaments could play a key role in promoting education. Four, assume greater responsibility, sorry, assume greater responsibility towards sustainable funding and investment on a city in the continent. Six, support policies for strong intra-Africa cooperation and networking between parliamentarians, policymakers, scientists, journalists, and the private sector. And seven, and last, support legislative action for dynamic and sustainable research enterprise capable of translating scientific discoveries into products, services, and processes that are required for socioeconomic development. Four, to the regional economic communities, to do the following. Promote alignment of regional education frameworks with CESA, CSEA. Two, encourage regional thematic networking to share experiences and complementarities. Three, provide support for member states to monitor and report on the implementation of CESA. And four, sensitize member states and stakeholders on CESA, CESA objectives and facilitate implementation. Number five on the overall, to develop partners. Number one, align support programs with CESA at a continental, regional, and national levels. Two, participate in multi-sectoral committees for CESA and its various theme clusters. Three, support capacity building and mutual learning among member states. Four, support advocacy and communications around agreed priorities. And five, and last, commit more funding, coordinate across agencies and explore innovative financing mechanisms on towards education, science, technology, innovation initiatives in Africa. May the Lord help us all. Thank you very much.